I am in New York City, just outside of Greenwich, sitting along the Hudson River. Gorgeous, gorgeous. My work has brought me here. Um, my company, SoulCandy.co, has taken me on some travels and some great places. But while I'm here, I thought what better way to make some Soul Searching Girl videos. So, one of the things I wanna to talk to you about today is your fear or scariness, you're wondering what to do with how people are going to think of you. And I know for me, of course, I felt that a lot, like anything I do. Well, what will people think if I do this? What will people think? What you're going through is a pretty big experience as you leave your faith or thinking about it or not sure if you will, wherever you are in your journey. And I think what's important for you to, re to know is you are stretching a new muscle. You're working a new muscle that has just been laying dormant for a while. And as you're learning new things and twisting your brain to think differently, it's like a muscle. It's just like working out and trying to build up different muscles in your body. It's the same thing when you have a paradigm shift. You are thinking differently. And sometimes that hurts. Not just your heart, because obviously I know your heart's been hurting, but your brain and how you're thinking. So what I want you to understand is it's okay for you to be going through what you're going through. It's okay if people get mad at you and don't understand. What I found most of the time with people in the church who don't agree with how I'm thinking is, and they're not sure what to say, they often bear their testimony to me. And I know all that, and I respect that. Um, what I've learned is everybody's beliefs, no matter what they are, I'm not just talking about Mormons, I'm talking about every religion, every single person, we all have our own truth. And our beliefs, or lack of beliefs, however you want to frame it, they're just as important to you as the next person. And as you're trying to figure out how to frame your new thought process, you will get stronger and more courageous through this journey. Don't expect to, just like starting a weight loss program, which I'm trying to work on, I can't just expect to have everything fall into shape a week after I get going. It just doesn't work that way. It's a process. You have to keep going. You have to keep working, keep reading, keep studying, keep praying, keep pondering, keep meditating, do whatever it is that you need to do so that that muscle that you're changing in your brain and in your heart as your paradigm shift changes, you will gain more confidence in that and you won't be as worried about how people think of you with the new way you are thinking because just as much as it's a change for you, it's a change for them. If they've known you to be a certain way and to believe a certain way and to do things a certain way and to do everything the way you're supposed to do it, whatever that means, it's an adjustment for them. But I, what my desire is for you is to be, gain the confidence as you change your way of thinking. This is your journey. And I know it affects your family. If you have children, it affects your children. If you have a spouse, it affects your spouse. But it's important that you figure out what is true for you. We all have different truths. That's just the way it goes. There aren't even two Mormons in church who believe exactly the same way. So gain confidence in this experience that you're having. What you're going through is going to make you stronger. It's going to make you be more confident in what you're, what you're going through. And you won't spend as much time worrying as you go through this journey about what people are thinking about you because you will get stronger and why you think the way that you do. Um, it was frustrating for me to be thinking a different way. And I know I've used the term thinking for yourself and, I, and I've gotten some pushback from that because we all think we think for ourselves. You know, I think I'm thinking for myself, you do, even if whatever you believe. Um, I guess I just mean thinking for yourself with all this new information. Answering the whys. Well, why are things this way? Why was I taught all of this information? And now I'm finding I opened this door and bam, all this stuff fell into my lap. And now my world's just spinning about. So keep going. It's, like I said, it's just like that workout program, except for your brain this time around. You just have to keep going. And don't be as worried about what other people think of you because why should you be worried if the people you're worried about aren't worried about what you're thinking about them? <laughs> you know, it, 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 just keep going down this journey that you're on. Because if you're like me, 
it will take you to places you never thought you'd be. And I don't just mean physically sitting in New York or somewhere other than where you live right now. I just mean on a spiritual journey. I have had more spiritual experiences since I left the Mormon church than I did when I was in it. And that is just the truth. Um, things I don't talk about and go into, especially right now, but it's just true. I feel like I'm a very spiritual person and I no longer sit and worry about someone in the church who I knew. I don't worry about what they think about me living. I'm just going about living my life as confidently as I can. So that is my wish for you, that you can do the same thing. Just keep going. Believe in yourself. Even when you're scared, you are brave. You're on an amazing journey. Keep going.